So, if you didn't already know, it's a new era in the WWE, and if you didn't know, it was WWE Battleground yesterday. There's a review already up on the channel, go check that out once this video is finished. Anyway, if we can get 300 likes on today's video, that would be absolutely awesome. We got lots of support on last week's Raw Preview, but this Raw Preview is just a little bit extra special because we've now got unique rosters. Yep, that is right, my Raw previews from now on just get a little bit more interesting now that we've got Raw and SmackDown that are completely different, they're way apart, it's very, very exciting. So tonight's Monday Night Raw is on the 25th of July 2016, we're going to be talking about predictions, news, and rumours for tonight's show. So there's loads of things to talk about on tonight's Monday Night Raw. Most importantly, it was Battleground yesterday. I gave it a really good review. I thought it was very, very good. But also, it's a new era. Loads of new people are coming up to the roster. We've got Finn Balor and Nia Jax probably making their debut on tonight's show. So it is really, really special. There, of course, will be a huge buzz in the air. When something like this happens in the WWE, it always feels just a little bit more special. And I think we'll definitely get that feeling on tonight's Raw. Now, it will be pretty strange for fans to tune into tonight's Monday Night Raw and not see the likes of John Cena, Dean Ambrose, Randy Orton, and it, it will take a while to adjust to it, but this is the new era in the WWE and we're going to have to get used to it. I think the main thing people are concerned about for tonight's Raw is how are they going to fill three hours with such a slim roster. Now, half the roster, maybe one third of the roster probably, has gone to SmackDown, and they've only got two thirds of the roster. How are they going to still continue to make three hour Raws when, when they had a full roster, they couldn't really do it anyway? And it's also going to be really, really difficult due to the fact they don't have a world championship on Raw, and they don't even have Brock Lesnar to build up the main event of SummerSlam. So I don't know, I'm pretty apprehensive of tonight's Raw and the next upcoming Raws. What do you guys think? Do you think they can still continue? to build up a three hour show week in and week out. I don't think so. But yesterday we found out that the WWE Championship will be staying on SmackDown. But what does this mean for the flagship show Raw? I feel like the likes of Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Brock Lesnar, Kevin Owens, if there isn't a world championship on Monday Night Raw, it'll just feel like they're kind of being wasted a little bit and they'll just be like dotted around and not really knowing what to do with them. They really do need a world championship on Raw, so will tonight be the night we get the world heavyweight championship returning to Monday Night Raw? It's for sure that Stephanie McMahon won't be happy that the title stayed on SmackDown, so will she retaliate and bring back the world heavyweight championship? They definitely need something on that show for the likes of Rollins, Reigns, all these main event stars to fight for. And also, what does this really mean for the Shield triple threat? Dean Ambrose did retain his title, but are we going to get a rematch? Usually when we get an interesting and entertaining match on a pay-per-view, we usually get a rematch the pay-per-view after. And this certainly was a really good match, but will we get this match again? Can you guys be bothered to wait another five weeks to see this match again? I'm not really that sure. And do you think they will do it again? Was it just a one-off thing? Now that Dean Ambrose is on SmackDown, it does make it a little bit harder. And if they don't do it again, what does this mean for Rollins and Reigns as we come up to SummerSlam? Are they going to bring back the World Everweight Championship? What are they going to do with Roman? Is he going to finally turn heel on tonight's Monday Night Raw? If they're not doing the Shield Triple Threat match again at SummerSlam, I really don't know what it means for Dean Ambrose, but especially Roman and Rollins on tonight's Raw. Another announcement we could get on tonight's show is the Cruiserweight division. What is happening with the Cruiserweight division? We haven't really heard a lot about it. Will Stephanie McMahon retaliate? Will she get her own back on SmackDown on tonight's Raw by announcing something special about the Cruiserweight division? Will we get a first glimpse at the Cruiserweight Championship? Or maybe just get a little bit of a glimpse of who will be entering the division when it comes about? Talking about the Cruiserweight division, could Finn Balor be the pioneer? near of that division. Now, he will be making his main roster debut on tonight's Raw. It is well overdue. This will be the number one moment to watch out for on tonight's show. But will he form his Balor club? People are suggesting him, Gallows and Anderson, now that they're all on Raw and AJ's on SmackDown, will we finally get the Bullet Club or the Balor club now that Balor is is on the main roster. Also, we got a show stealer last night, called the Sheriff, because Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn stole the show. This match was... This match was awesome, but now that they are still on Raw, people suggested that one would go to Raw, one would go to SmackDown, but now that they're on the same show, do you guys think we're going to get one more match at SummerSlam between the two? I definitely think we should. I'd really like to see an Iron Man match, 
Hell in a Cell match, something like that at SummerSlam. End this feud once and for all in exciting fashion. Hopefully on tonight's Raw we do get a sense that we will be getting one more match between the two, but we'll have to see on tonight's Raw what their plans are for Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Also with Sasha Banks tapping out Charlotte on Last Lights, Battleground it is pretty clear Sasha will face Charlotte for the women's title at SummerSlam, which is really awesome. I wanted to see that match at Battleground, but we're definitely going to get it at SummerSlam, so watch out for that on tonight's Monday Night Raw. Also, what does this mean for Bailey? It just kind of seemed like it was just a one-off thing now, which absolutely sucks, but if it isn't, what show is she going to go to? I would prefer her to go to SmackDown, because I think SmackDown got absolutely screwed on the WWE draft, and also, will we see the general manager sort of fight over her? I want her. No, I want her. It does sound like it's a one-off deal, so maybe that won't happen quite yet, but when she does come up to the main roster, if it is tonight, could we see something like that? Also, talking about the women's division, Nia Jax will make her main roster debut as this big, dominant heel. How does she fit into the women's roster now that Charlotte and Sasha are busy? Will she start a mid-card feud with the likes of Becky Lynch, Paige... I don't really know. Also, on last night's show, Cesaro was pretty outspoken about his position in the WWE. He did the same at the draft a few nights ago as well, and I don't know what this means for Cesaro. Is this going to hinder his chances of ever becoming something great, or is it actually going to help him? Is this going to really help him and drive him forward and make him a world champion like he should already have been? Usually when something like this happens, Vince McMahon is pretty arrogant. He does what he wants. He usually buries the wrestler, so we'll have to see on tonight's Raw what it actually means for Cesaro. I'm sure since it is three hours, we will see what Cesaro gets up to. I wouldn't be too surprised if he does get punished for this, but to be honest, I really, really do hope it does bolster him and help him in his career. Also, lastly, we're talking about the New Day, the tag team titles. Now that they are the longest reigning tag team champions, and they did actually get beaten by the Wyatt family, I'm predicting that they will drop the titles at SummerSlam. They've kind of accomplished everything, so who is going to challenge the New Day at SummerSlam? Enzo and Cass seem the obvious decision, even though they are also babyfaces. That is the high-key match everybody wants to see at this year's SummerSlam. So what do you guys think? Do you want to see Big Cass and Enzo take on the New Day? They were certainly really, really over on last night's pay-per-view. They were probably the most over wrestlers on last night's show. What do you guys think about that? I think that would be the high-key match for Raw on the SummerSlam pay-per-view. What do you guys think? Are you looking forward to tonight's Monday Night Raw? I'll be live tweeting on Twitter, so remember to follow me over there. If you need a live stream link to watch Monday Night Raw, also tweet me. I can share you a link before the show starts. Also remember to subscribe. Check out my Battleground review on the channel. 300 likes would be absolutely awesome. Take care. Spike your hair.